Hello, Brandon. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Congratulations on In the Know, premiering January 25 on Peacock. So you've collaborated with your uh, friend Zach Woods for quite some time, including uh, on David and Bud a couple of years ago, those short films. Now, In the Know. Talk to me about this this friendship, this professional relationship you have with Zach. How did it come to be? And uh, what are the joys of uh, working with Zach on this project? Zach and I met each other doing improv in New York at UCB. Mm -hmm. And eventually we started improvising together and that was always um, very fun. And then he and I both got interested in writing around the same time. And I was taking a playwriting class in New York and I had uh, shown him one of the exercises that I had done in that class. And he really got excited by that. And so he started taking the class too and we'd share little plays with each other. And so when I moved out to LA, he asked if, if I wanted to start collaborating with him on, on, on more scripts. And so we've written also, we've written those, those short films and we've written features that we're trying to get made. And, and then we made the show and it's been great. It like someone had asked me earlier, because this is the first TV show I'd ever worked on in any capacity. Uh, if that was ever overwhelming and stressful. And for the most part, it wasn't because I always had Zach as a, as, as a partner. So anytime there was a little bit of a crisis or a decision to be made, it was really nice to be able to talk about him, talk about it with him. And the other thing is, is, is I think it would have been easy for me to uh, feel insecure working on this, sh this show, having never been, even been in a writer's room before. But I think Zach has so much confidence in me. It made me more confident uh, in, in, in the role. I got, how would you describe this, this character, Lauren Caspian? Uh, is he a cross between Howard Stern and Joe Rogan? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. What, Lauren Caspian is, is a slightly exaggerated version, I would say, of, of Zach and myself. Okay. Of, unfortunately, of a sort of coastal progressive person with like a liberal arts education who, you know, reads The New Yorker, watches Criterion movies. Um, wants to be a good person, but but often falls uh, short of those ideals. Honest question. Uh, not, nothing bad by this, but do people still listen to public radio or NPR? No offense to NPR, but I feel like, you know, is is, is that keeping up with the times today? What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? I think so. I think a lot of people, instead of listening to it uh, on the radio, I'm sure a lot of people listen to it still on the radio, but I think a lot of them uh, uh, get it through podcast versions of, of NPR. And But it's one of the things as we've been learning more about the world that's interesting is NPR listeners aren't only who you would think of. So you you think of sort of uh, sort of intellectuals and very liberal people, but I guess NPR is very popular with truck drivers. Love to to, to listen to to NPR on on long hauls. Uh, so I think lots of different people. Uh, I genuinely listen to NPR. It's I think because they're not uh, profit driven. It's it's a news source that I that I I feel a little bit more. Um, comfortable with not that I always agree with it, but but I think as as news have become like everything so so polarized and and so almost like ratings driven that it's nice that there's an outlet for news that that's just doing their best to inform you. The human celebrities interviewed by Lauren on this show are interesting. You get Hugh Laurie, Finn Wolfhard, uh, Kaya, Nora Jones. The interactions between them and Lauren are interesting. How, how did you select these few uh, uh, celebrities? And also, what were the conversations that you had with them to give them an idea of what they're about to do? So we tried to just have an eclectic uh, group of guests. So we tried not to have too many guests from the same world. So there's some actors, but we didn't want it to be only actors. And there's some people who are known for comedy, but we didn't want them all to be comedy people. Um, so um, like interviewing someone like Kaya, who's a, who's a model and an actor, we knew that would be bringing something to it. We knew, knew talking to Roxanne Gay, who's a writer, would bring something else to it. So we wanted to have lots of different types of guests was part of it. And we wanted to interview people that we found genuinely interesting. We just knew that it would be more fun to talk to people we personally thought were, were, were fascinating people. And then as far as like informing them, we gave them very little. So it was very kind of them and trusting of them to do it, where I would talk to them first. And I would just say, treat it like a real NPR interview. Do your best to treat it like a real NPR interview. You don't have to be funny. You don't have to pretend to be anything. And then uh, an image of the, the Lauren puppet would come up on their screen. And they would hear Zach in character as Lauren, introing them the same way he would if he had a real show. And then they would talk for an hour. That's amazing. In the Know, premiering January 25 on Peacock. Brandon, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thanks, Roman.